Well, joining me now from Kyiv in Ukraine for more insight, Mikhailo Samos, the director of New Geopolitics Research Network. Mikhailo, thanks for your time today. So accusations seem to be flying around between the two sides, the Russians and the Ukrainians. Russia responded immediately to this. Usually they take a little more time to come out with these statements. What do you think this is actually saying? But first of all, uh, let's uh, let's start with definitions. It's, it's uh, there are no uh, uh, such uh, things like a Russian back separatists. It's a Russian aggressors, which is actually occupied Ukrainian territory. It's very simple, and of course the uh, it, it's uh, absolutely classical Russian stupid uh, false flag operations. Uh, why stupid? Because in in this uh, in these operations, it's very difficult to find the motivation of Ukraine to kill own soldiers. The explanation that uh, Ukraine doesn't want that Ukrainian prisoners of war trying to cooperate with with Russians is absolutely crazy. I think that another another detail that it's not a prison. What you showing on this uh, video? It's not a prison. It's a uh, uh, industrial area, which uh, where uh, Ukrainian prisoners of war were moved several days ago, especially to place them in this industrial area, and uh, it looks like a, a special operations by Russian secret services to 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 keep uh, Ukrainian prisoners of war in this place and kill them uh, some explosions because we don't have any any facts that it was uh, any any artillery fire uh, for this place, but maybe it was exploded from inside of the building. And uh, I think that uh, this it, it was absolutely uh, cynical uh, mar uh, mass murder of, of uh, Russians uh, for Ukrainian prisoners of war. Also, Mikhailo, Moscow has opened a probe into the attack. They sent a team to the site to carry out their investigations. Do we know what the Russian Criminal Investigation Agency's findings were? And if so, can their claims be independently verified? I'm not sure that Russian aggressor could, could have any right to investigate something on Ukrainian uh, occupied territories, and let's let's uh, uh, remember about the MH17 case when Russians uh, destroyed the civilian airplane, and still they don't recognize it. Even everybody understand that it was, it was a Russian missile which hit uh, this aircraft, but it, the Russians say that uh, it's it's impossible that uh, it was. Russian missile. So I think it should be international investigations, and I think it will be very easy to understand what's happened in this uh, uh, industrial area when uh, where uh, Russian uh, armed forces they kept, kept uh, Ukrainian prisoners of war. On that point, when you talk about the international investigation, Ukraine's presidential advisor is calling for a strict investigation into the attack. He's even urging the UN and other international organizations to condemn it. Do you think this is the way to go, though? Could this move bring about uh, a conclusion, possibly? Of course, Russia won't agree on any international investigation as usual, because uh, I'm sure that it was uh, planned operations to kill Ukrainian uh, uh, prisoners of war. Even I could, uh, I could say that I, I could uh, think uh, that uh, uh, Russians during the tortures, it's famous Russian tortures. They killed Ukrainian prisoners of war, and now explode. Uh, they organize this explosion to cover the killing, uh, tortured Ukrainian soldiers. And uh, I think that uh, this, uh, this concrete, this concrete event, with, which were organized by Russian. Russians and uh, Russian terrorists, I would say, uh, the, the it's additional additional fact to call Russia as a sponsor of terrorism. Thank you so much, Mikhailo Samos, director of New Geopolitics Research Network from Kyiv.